So, last time we got the police sort of off our tail with the Blackberry Joy. They got to put on a little show with us. Um, this episode is the first of two parts that's really going to be the meat of uh, Sally's story here. Um, dealing with Gwen escaping the parade. Um, let's get right into it. I have to check on a fucking infant. That's exactly how mommy feels. She got out of her to anyone. Is that fucking... Not even you. The chicken pox? Why has this baby got a rash, bro? Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. Yeah, Haley. What a cough. And a cute little runny nose. <clears throat> and a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I getting at cod liver oil? Oh, of course. Cod liver oil. Cod that checks out. Oil. That checks out yes. from the playthrough with... Yes, Velok does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at mommy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun. It's past curfew. Let's sleep first. I mean, so I don't know the purpose why, Haley, but they did, she explained earlier that like babies hadn't existed here for 20 years or something. And so like I'm it might be longer than 20 years, but I I, I don't know the purpose behind don't have any more kids. Um and I guess that like the fact that she's had a kid First off, might indicate that, like, she's off for Joy, because my guess is that Joy probably makes you sterile. Um. But also, like, not taking her kid around everywhere means that nobody knows about her kid, isn't gonna rat her out for being a downer. And, like, I think it's pretty clear that she gets a better life here than out in the Garden District in the fucking Wasteland where there isn't a, complete, a completed structure to be seen. Like, it's fucked, but I think you have to, like, take into consideration the, you know, child's quality of life. I still got some time. I thought it was closer to...
my joy running out. New song for my favorite U band. Alright, walk it out from here so the joy expires and so do the withdrawals and then I can go into the labs and everything will be great. Even though I'm guessing I probably won't go into the labs and uh, Arthur will. So I'll have to do some other fucking dumb thing. Anybody home? Yeah, I don't know. I think the baby's probably better off being at home than in the garden district, so... Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, ma'am, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr. Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Goody fuck, goody fuck. Where do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the garden district... That uh, checks out. He was so mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off. Yes, sir, Binks. Go birds. Do I have any food? I'm tired of not having any stamina. Or, is there any water nearby? There is. Um, it would be, Haley, but, yeah, you can't win them all. Uh, 
At least I have the skill that allows me to, like, run and not get pestered by all the idiot pedestrians who think that running means you're a downer. I got 800 meters to go, fuck it. Let's get the rest of the lads. We've got a down here, haven't we? We're not a man. I don't see what's getting excited after all. Who's the, Who the guilty? It's fine. Just keep sprinting and no one will be able to do anything bad to me. You're coming with me. Well, I'm glad all that nonsense is out No need to get excited after all. Okay. I don't remember Arthur visiting me out here, or running into Arthur out here. Please listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. There was no rabbit in the hat. There was no rabbit in the hat. I know there's a thing to listen to all of the messages, but like... Footsteps seem especially loud today. <gasps> the fuck was that? Why was I screaming? I don't remember in Arthur's playthrough them meeting in the garden. Sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. 
even after all those awful things I said. We used to be Arthur and Sally, the two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. All right. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with. What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know? I thought about it. For legal reasons, this is a joke? Not after... After... What, your what mom my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. Keeps his eyes fucking open. I'm sorry. I, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll... I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really... Really... It just, just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? What are you... Why are people angry at me? Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Hello, boys. Keeping us safe? Next walk can't come soon enough, if you ask me, miss. Hope the Jerry's come before my knees go, ma'am. I'll let the Jerry's know you miss them. You lot don't appreciate the general. Because all you know is the war. I hope the general's not in one of his old poor me moons. It's such a chore dragging him out of them. If he's cheery, I bet he'll give me the letter of transit without a blink. Tonight's movies will be Hellcats at Ramsgate. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? It's Sally Boyle. I'm not a German infiltrator. Please don't ambush me. Where are they? Miss Boyle! We weren't expecting you. Harry, why the fuck is the gate open? Excuse my French man. I told you to close it. No, Sergeant, you didn't. You said you were gonna close it, but you had to go to the loo first. No, I didn't. I said I'm going to the loo. Why didn't you close the gate? Boys? Boys, you can close it now if you like. Right, Harry. Close the gate, if you please, whilst I accompany Miss Boyle to the General's office. Miss Boyle! I oh, won't he be happy to see you? He's trying to fix the boat again. The one in the warehouse? You mean the one in the boathouse, as is, Mom? They've moved the boat to the water. And he's got Hardy patching it up. Hardy don't hardly know which end of a boat goes in the water. If you don't think Hardy's up to it, find me someone who does know boats. Sally! Suppose you drift away, sir. 
How are we going to fetch you? What an unexpected pleasure. Army officers ought not to be pottering about in boats, sir. I realise you must be out of Rainbow. You haven't been round in weeks. Wasn't I round just a few days ago? Damn it. Oh, and a friend of mine left the parade without his letter of transit. Now he can't go back to work. Isn't that silly? Any friend of yours, my dear. It's been too long, anyway. Oddest thing, last time I was there, I could swear I heard something that sounded like a cat. But I haven't seen a cat since the war. Have you? Fortunately, I wrote myself a note. Sally's got a... baby. What do you suppose that means? Who knows? Once you hallucinated that you were back in India and you kept saying, but I don't want to shoot some poor bastard's elephant. <laughs> <laughs> You're as clever a liar as I am. <laughs> you can lie with the truth. Your cruel's a toy with me, General. It's Dr. Velox, baby. Isn't it? No wonder you never told him. God knows what he'd do to a baby. You might have told me. She's not your bloody baby. So what do you care? Do you remember the children born after the war? We got some of them out, but... They made everyone so unhappy. Can... can you get us out? I might be able to get her out, if I'm very clever, but... No. I can't spare you. What do you think would happen if our beloved Bobbies ran out of Blackberry Joy? I've a safe house. Remember that abandoned building where you threw me that masquerade ball last year? I've cleaned it up a bit. Bring her there. I'm not sending her away. Why not? It's traditional, a single girl in trouble, not equipped to take care of her baby. I'd have thought you'd be grateful. You'll end up in one of Dr. Verloc's glass cells, and even I won't be able to save you. That was very pushy. You don't know what it's like to be alone, <clears throat> do you? A girl like you never is. <laughs> I think you know the way out. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait, I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. I did get one of them at Ramsgate. Well, I'm pretty sure I don't. Why is... On notes, I want my quests. Actually, yeah, if I can visit the boathouse, then. Question why. The boat actually is a decent idea, because I may need it to actually get Gwen out rather than trusting the general. Assuming I can get back in.
We'll, we'll do this little side quest. It seems like a good idea. It is here. The General's Bristol pilot. My god, if I could steal a boat... But does it work? Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. They don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. You know a lot about boats. And you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the general's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to pack up a tube boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, Maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for me. You know Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little secret. Won't the General be surprised? Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm... Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Never hurts to have an escape hatch. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Who drinks that much whiskey? There. Aziz. Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. All right. <clears throat> Well, the track hatch makes it a little bit easier, at the very least. To the barmaid. Which genuinely just sounds like a fancy Old English term for a bartender, but what do I know?
Okay, gate. Thanks for just throwing me around. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. So. <gasps> I don't understand the screaming, dude. It seems highly unnecessary. Barmaids are just a female bartender? Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I do scream, but I wouldn't say that it's random. It's usually a Call of Duty. Heck, W. What I realistically should have done while I was in the track hatch is check to see if there was a thing already close to my destination. But I didn't think about it. And now that I'm already like halfway here, it just kind of seems like a waste of time to go back and check. But... dangerous it is to change flavors of joy, right? Like if you can just randomly decide, today I want strawberry, tomorrow I want vanilla. Just because she's got blackberry and she said it was hard to come off of blackberry, like I wonder if the chemical makeup of both isn't different? That like, it would make it difficult or there'd be weird side effects to switching flavors and that's why they both take strawberry all the damn time. I don't know, most pills just don't have different flavors, so I guess it's a novelty that, like, makes it difficult to consider. afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The that was old clever. name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Just 
Jesus Christ, 1500 meters is a long fucking way. That is so fucking far. Present yourself in person with a recent photograph and a typed explanation. Simple, isn't it? That's all you have to do. The department is looking at a five. Why is my door locked? And why do I have to pick the lock in my own house? God damn it, Arthur. Get the cod liver oil. Gwen's getting sicker by the minute. Which you don't know. I wonder if I should have told you. Very weird champ, dude. Track the baby transport first, because that's going to be significantly closer. Let's go by that baby carrier and then we can go do the thing about the boat. Very close to that joy poisoning. <clears throat> What's your fancy? You're looking fine today. Have you got my chemical bag? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> I pop in to see what's new. Um, what can I sell off? I don't need a record.
I think that'll do. See you soon, there you go. Careful with your uh chemicals. What? That you're carrying. In the back. Yes, of course. I'll be super careful. So, with Arthur's playthrough and with Sally's playthrough, now we've got a little bit of a combination from two different storytelling methods. We've clearly established Sally's escape route, and we've created our conflict with the general. Next week should really start to buff out some of the plot lines we established here and finish out the meet of Sally's story. See you there next time.